All right, y'all, today I'm gonna to be showing you how to make some vanilla bean eggnog. For this, we have four eggs, we got some milk, we got some heavy whipping cream, we have some vanilla sugar. If you don't have vanilla sugar, don't worry. You can use regular sugar as well. And then we have a vanilla bean. All right, y'all. So for this, we're gonna start by separating four eggs. We need to both the yolk and the egg whites. Separate the yolk into a bowl. Sorry, separate the whites into a bowl. Put the yolk in a pan. We'll bring you back when that's done. All right, y'all. So we've went ahead and set our egg whites to the side. We're just gonna take our yolks, mix them up a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, then we're gonna take a third, a cup of our vanilla sugar. Again, if you don't have vanilla sugar, don't worry, white sugar will work just fine. Okay, once that's mixed in, we're gonna go ahead and add a cup of heavy whipping cream. Then we're gonna add two cups of milk. And we're gonna mix that up. And we're gonna take that over to a burner. Okay, for our vanilla bean, we're gonna go ahead, we're just gonna cut off that, that little hook tip, and then we're gonna try, we're gonna cut right down, cut right down the middle. We wanna cut all the way through just the first, the first layer. Then we're gonna open that up, and we're gonna take our knife, and we're just gonna scrape the inside. And then you'll get this black tar that's all your vanilla seeds. Okay, now real quick, before we go ahead and put this over to a burner, we're gonna go ahead and mix in all of that vanilla bean seed. Now, if you're curious where I got vanilla sugar, if you take the pod after you've taken all the seed out of it, Get a couple cups of sugar in a container and just sit that pot in the in that sugar. Leave it for a couple weeks and before you know it, you'll have vanilla sugar. All right, y'all, so stirring, we've brought this over to a burner and we're gonna stir it constantly on a medium heat until this comes up to about 180, 190. And you could use a thermometer or that's also 180, 190. That's, that's hot to the touch, but not too hot. So if you can do like a quick finger test if you want. We'll bring you back when that's done. Alright, so we have this to 180, 190 or hot to the touch. Now we're going to take it off the heat and we got to get this back down to room temperature. Now the fastest way to do that, I'll show you here in a second. So the fastest way to bring this down to room temperature is just get a bowl, put some ice water in it, put it and then put your pan in an ice bath and, and keep stirring that so it comes down to room, te uh, room temperature. All right, so now we have this cooled back down to room temperature. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take this and put it in a pitcher. All right, so what we have are our custard for our eggnog sitting in the fridge. We're gonna go ahead and whisk our egg whites. We're gonna go until we get a really soft peak. We'll bring you back when that's done. All right, y'all, so now that we have a soft peak, we're gonna go ahead and add in a quarter of a tablespoon of vanilla sugar. And again, it's all right if you don't have vanilla sugar, go ahead and use regular sugar. Now we're gonna beat, we're gonna mix this until we bring up um, about a medium, uh, between somewhere between a soft peak and stiff. Stiff peak. We'll bring you back when that's done. All right, y'all. So we have it mixed up. It's about the consistency of whipped cream, and that's what you want. All right. So now that we have this, our 
custard for our eggnog has had time to chill, we're gonna go ahead and mix this in. All right, so we're just gonna go ahead and mix this in. We're not folding it in, we're just gonna mix it in. So you can put it all in there and mix it up. Alright, so now that we have this all mixed up and it's properly chilled before we put that in, we can go ahead and pour this, serve it, put if you want, put your little put liquor in it. It's up to you, 100%. We're gonna go ahead and serve this up. We'll bring you back. Alright, and there you have it, vanilla bean eggnog. Great for the holidays. So if you like this video, you want to see more, hit that like and subscribe button down below. And then until next time, keep on cooking on.